वेलकम प्लीज बींग न्यू आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कॉमेंट द इम्प्रूवमेंट्स बाई वीडियोज रिक्वायर थैंक यू समवेयर वंस आई रेड अ कोट द बेस्ट बुक इज द वन दैट हैज़ ए न्यू मीनिंग एवरी टाइम यू रीड इट तो आई केम टू नो अबाउट द लिटिल प्रिंस फ्रॉम हेली ऑल्सो नोन एज सालिनी चैटर्जी so seeing it a very thin book i started reading it the first thing i encountered in the book was a picture so you would think what the hell is it but seeing it clearly you may see it as a hat now let me show you another picture and again see the previous picture if you guess it as a snake has eaten an elephant you fall in my category but before even seeing this if you had guessed it as an elephant inside a snake you are genius my friend hats off this book is written for intellects like you the little prince written by antoine de saint exupery i am not sure if i have pronounced the name of the author correctly whatever the book was written in the year 1942 to 43 It just blows my mind to think such a gem being written back then. Now comes the most interesting part. Antoine de Saint Exupéry died in a plane crash accident in the Mediterranean Sea in 1944. So why is it interesting? If you have read the Little Prince you know how the pilot crashes in the desert. If you knew the drills of the author's death you will feel as if he knew about his death every detail of the story will be suspicious to you now about the story it is about an hour's read for casual reading but the details of separate worlds of every profession in the world and the way antony describes them as a child's tale keeps the reader spellbound the discipline of the lamp lighter the cruel businessman the foolish king the idiot geographer the timable fox the thorny rose and the baobab trees will feel so close to you while reading the text you will start identifying these characters as if they are in your life too such is the perfection of the author even for such a story which is so short you will feel sad when the little prince dies after getting bitten by the snake and lives to his own world it's just a wonderful read some quotes i like in the story are and now here is my secret says the little prince a very very simple secret it is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye just take anything of emotional importance you will know they are invisible but are right within our hearts two all grown ups were once children but only few of them remember it it really a fact on how as we grow we aim to grow more and tend to forget the child we once were 3 it's the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important it is the truth of any relationship you have or will have that will give your better half the value in your life 5 What makes the desert beautiful said the little prince is that somewhere it hides a well and life's a desert cherished by the well of emotional gifts from our memories of the ones we loved 5 The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched they're filled with the heart 
6 People have forgotten this truth, the fox said. But you mustn't forget it. You become responsible forever for what you have tamed. You are responsible for your rose. 7. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. 8. It is such a mysterious place, the land of tears, the land we seek love from when our heart breaks. 9. Well, I must endure the presence of a few caterpillars if I wish to become acquainted with the butterflies. 10. You see, one loves the sunset when one is so sad. 11. You become responsible forever for what you have tamed. The truth of bonds in our earthly lives. The little prince is a gem. The tiny little red that is a lesson for a lifetime. Having said that, it will remind us how foolish we were to aim to grow up that we lost our childhood. The only time we didn't needed a vine or a pill to make us feel happy, make us feel loved. It will make you remember that it was the only time we were not embraced to sleep with our parents. The only time we spoke our hearts out. We drowned the child we once were in the ocean of growth. We tried to get it dead. But the child still helps us. It helps us by reminding you the way we loved. When you get depressed, it will remind you the way we played the whole day in the sun. The way we hugged our parents. The way we loved them without being embraced. So the best quote to me in this story is, You, you alone will have the stars, as no one else has them. In one of the stars, I shall be living. In one of them, I shall be laughing. And so, it will be as if all the stars were laughing. When you look at the sky at night, you, only you, will have the stars that can laugh. Thank you.